Have you been wanting to show or hide multiple fields based on how someone answers one of your questions? Let me show you how with the section collapse. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform, I'm Kimberly. And for this example, we're gonna walk through kind of like an RSVP type situation. So we want to know how many people the person that we're sending this form to is going to bring. So first we wanna do is we want to create the form. So I'm gonna go up here to the top left, the create form button. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch and use the classic form. Now, first and foremost, I want to know what their name and email is. So I'm going to go ahead and come up to the add form elements and I'm going to choose their full name and their email. And then let's go ahead and do a drop down. And this is going to be the number of guests and let's edit the options. And we want to give them an option to bring no one. So zero and then one, two, and let's say three is going to be the max. Okay, so now that we've given them the option to invite up to three people, that means we're going to need at least three sections with names and emails. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the top and I'm going to add a full name and an email. And then we're gonna make this one section. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom where it says section collapse. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this right where I want it in between the number of guests and this first guest name. Now we can go ahead and edit this and name this guest one, just so it's easier to identify whenever we get to the show hide fields. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to guest one. Perfect. So let's take a look at this section collapse. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the properties for this. And we can see we can edit the section heading right here as well. But then we have section visibility and button visibility. So the section visibility is either hidden or visible. So do we want this entire section not shown on the form. So let's go ahead and let's say it's visible and the button visibility is visible. So let's just look at the form and see what that looks like. So we can see here that it's visible. We have the drop down that we can collapse it and we can bring it bigger. But for us, we do not want it visible at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose hidden and the button visibility is hidden as well. Now this is what we're going to want for every single guest. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click the duplicate field. We'll drag it down and we'll just change this one to guest number two. Then we can come back over to the basic elements. We can add a full name and an email and we can make this guest number two. If we can come back up here, duplicate for the last one, guest number three. Perfect, and let's add their name and email. Now, one thing that we do have to take into consideration is what happens if they say, you know what, I don't wanna invite anyone. So let's look at the form right now. How we have it set up is it's completely hidden, all of these fills underneath the section collapse. So we have an issue we don't have a submit button because it's included under guest number three. So what we need to do here is we need to add another section collapse. And for this one, we don't need a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that as hidden, but we do want that section visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose visible. So this will allow them to answer the top section. And if they don't have any guests, they can go ahead and click the submit button. Okay, now let's get into the fun part of the conditional formatting of showing and hiding different pieces of this form. So up at the top under settings, I'm gonna go ahead and choose conditions. Now from here, we're going to do the show hide field, this first one. So we're going to be working with the number of guests. Now, if they choose zero, there is nothing more that we have to do. They're just gonna submit like I mentioned. So we need to show hide fields if it's over zero. So we're looking at the number of guests. So if the number of guests is equal to, let's say one, what do we want it to do? We want it to show multiple fields. We need for it to show guest one's name and email. Perfect. So let's do one more condition, show high field. If the number of guests is equal to, two, we need for it to show multiple fields again. And we're going to show guest one name and email and guest two name and email. Save. Perfect. One more condition, show hide field. If the number of guests equals two, three, 
We're gonna show multiple fields again, and we're gonna show all the guests, guest one down to three. And save, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's preview this form and let's give it a test. All right, so if it's just me, I'm gonna fill this out, my name, my email, and let's say I don't have any guest. Perfect, submit. But let's say I do wanna invite one guest. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I choose. I want to invite one guest. We see the guest one name is now available and the email. Let's say we wanna do two. Now we have guest one and guest two. And let's say we're gonna to go to three guest. We have guest one, guest two, and guest three. And then we can submit super simply. If you have any questions about how to utilize the show hide fields with the section collapse, please let us know and I'll see you next time.